All right, everyone, this is Josh Rubin, and today I want to talk about Wilson Syndrome. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video, show us some support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and show us even more support. And don't forget to hit that notification button so when we put out a video every single week, you get notified. Let's jump in. Wilson Syndrome is classified as a thyroid syndrome. <laughs> I mean, I could giggle. That's so funny. But I don't want to be rude. It's classified as a thyroid syndrome where your thyroid panel is normal. Possibly over time, you show low T3 or what's more common. Your lab is perfect. Your thyroid panel is perfect, but you have high reverse T3. This is Wilson syndrome, right? This is the syndrome that was coined by, I think it's Dr. Wilson. The treatment was created by Dr. Wilson. Our method kind of debunks this whole syndrome. And I'm not saying his thought process is wrong, but I personally believe the treatment of this is very, we got the binoculars on and we're looking at the body as the body is just a thyroid. So the labs are normal, high reverse T3. You have fatigue, depression, sleep issues, insomnia, your hair is swelling out. You have all the hypothyroid symptoms, which could be a million different disorders attached to that, but you have the hypothyroid symptoms but you don't have hypothyroidism. You typically see low body temperature and pulses midday and high cortisol. That is Wilson syndrome. His treatment is typically using Wilson's T3, not T3, but Wilson's T3 in micro doses during the day to increase the amount of T3 in the, in the body and support the conversion of T4 to T3 versus reverse T3 right? Because of that excess stress in the system. The problem is what we're seeing or the, the, the rationale of this method or approach is this. I am living in chaos. I am not supporting my body during the day. I have a history of stress. I have a history of trauma. I am not meeting my metabolic needs. So I go see the doctor. Your labs are fine. You have high reverse T3. And I'm going to give you T3. So if we really take a step back, which I just did, and we think about it, how can we expect that little medication to correct a physiological issue if none of this is changed? It is impossible, right? Will you see an increase in body temperature and pulse? Of course you will. Why? You're putting T3 into the body. T3 is active thyroid hormone. It's energy. It's the gas pedal. You naturally are going to see body temperature and pulse go up. But did you fix the problem? No, you did not. Because guess what? The second you take that away, you have no foundation. Your foundation hasn't been changed. It hasn't been supported. It hasn't been fine-tuned. You take that medication away. Body temperature and pulse plummet. And over time, symptoms come back. It's that simple, my friends. Remember... Anytime there's stress in the system, anytime there's stress in the system, which means the demands being placed on the system exceed what the system can handle. Well, the energy coming in is less than the energy needed to meet the demands being placed on that person every single day. So don't just think about, well, I'm not stressed. Don't think of it like that. And a lot of us aren't aware enough to really know what our stresses are. You could be overtraining. You could just be sitting around and not working out enough. You could be overeating, undereating, which is very common. You could be undereating a certain nutrient. You could be mineral deficient. You could have a history of trauma, childhood trauma, teenage trauma. It doesn't matter, physical, emotional, that changes how your nervous system is hardwired. And now you don't thrive in that social engagement, parasympathetic state where we should be. We should be able to be there. But when we do those things over and over again, we have these micro traumas, these micro stressors. We're pushed deeper into that sympathetic or dorsal vagal parasymp parasympathetic part of our nervous system. And when we're in those places, we thrive in a simple sense off stress hormones. Those stress hormones do many things, as we've mentioned. More importantly, these stress hormones will 
Cause the body in a simple sense to affect copper metabolism in a negative way. You chelate copper, you can't metabolize copper into bioavailable copper, you can't produce copper into antioxidants, you cannot create a healing environment, you can't produce energy, your temp's gonna plummet. At the same time, you can't produce thyroid hormone because you need bioavailable copper to stimulate TRH, stimulate TSH to produce T4. At the same time, this excess cortisol in the system is gonna affect thyroid receptor sites, right? So now you could be taking thyroid hormone, it's not gonna work because the receptor sites are just not working in a sense. Like thyroid hormone can't bind to them. But more importantly with Wilson syndrome, because I got way off track, is anytime there's high cortisol in the system, high stress environment, trauma, micro traumas, it all adds up. You are a conglomeration from everything from birth till now. Psychological, social, emotional, food, physical, EMF, you name it. This is who you are from then till now. That excess cortisol will affect the conversion of T4 to T3, inactive to active thyroid hormone. What happens is it not only blocks conversion, but it causes the conversion of T4 and to reverse T3. This is Wilson syndrome. This is a sign of stress. The problem is, as practitioners, we're looking at the lab and we're identifying the person as the lab. I'm gonna treat the lab and make the lab better. The problem is, there's a lot of people, you treat the lab and the lab is better and they still feel like crap. That is not success. I would rather still see a dysfunctional lab and that person say, oh my God, I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling connected with my body again. I'm sleeping a little better. I feel more anchored. My energy is starting to come back. My body temperature pulses are coming up, they're not perfect, but my labs are still not that good. That's great because we know we're on the right path now. We know we're creating a foundation to support their system. So remember, that we have to change how we're eating and living. Now, how do we do that? Well, this is what our RTN restoration thyroid method is all about. This is the work we do with people every day. We work with people with Wilson syndrome and more Hashimoto's, hypothyroid, histamine issues, you name it. But uh, if you really narrow it down, our approach does wonders for people with Wilson syndrome because if we begin to provide the body with what it needs every day, energy, right? Because think about it. When, what is body temperature pulse? It's showing you how your body is taking the energy coming in and converting it to usable energy. That's what you're seeing with body temperature and pulse. Are your cells breathing in a sense, simple sense, right? So when we begin to have a carb and a protein with every meal, that's tip one. A carb is a fruit, root, or squash, right? Protein is anything that had eyes or came from something with eyes. Right, like meats and shellfish and whitefish and fatty fish and broth and organ meats and dairy and eggs. A protein is not hemp, it's not an almond, it's not a nut, it's not a seed, it's not pea protein, it's none of that stuff. It's not soy, it's not temp, temp, tempa or tofu, none of that. None of it had eyes. Fat, soluble vitamins and minerals. Carbon and protein in every meal, and we begin to tune in what works for us during the day. Do I need lighter foods at specific times? Do I need more dense foods to put more food on the fire? And I focus on the frequency I need to eat to put fuel on the fire to create stability to see my temps and pulses go up and peak in a normal you know, rhythm and come down. That's what supports the system. That's going to reduce the stress on the system because remember, the adrenal glands will only come online where there's not enough energy being stored to be used to feed the thyroid. So we cut that right off. Of course, there's different lifestyle modifications to have to. Maybe we cut that off. We meet the body with what it needs during the day. We get the right types of metabolic carbs and proteins, and we do this consistently over time. We stop the conversion of T4 to reverse T3. We free up that conversion to T4 to T3. We see regulation body temperature and pulse, but more importantly, you feel more stable. You feel more anchored. You feel more energetic. You're sleeping better. Your hair's not falling out, and you feel more vital once and for all. If this is a lot, don't forget in the description, as always, we post the link for our 10 tips for thyroid health to get started. We also put a link there. We hold a free live every other Friday called the Live Thyroid Reset, where we're there to talk about the 10 tips, but also answer your questions. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out.